Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Revelation 14 to 18, Proverbs 2, and Psalm 69. Let's get started. Then I looked, and behold, on that side stood the Lamb, and with him 144,000 who had his name, and his father's name written on their foreheads. And they heard a voice from heaven like the roar of many waters, and like the sound of loud thunder. And their voice I heard was like the sound of harps, and harpies playing on their harps. And they were singing a new song before the throne, and before the poor living creatures, and before the elders. No one could learn that song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. And here is these who are to fill themselves with wine, as they are virgins. Here is these who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These have been redeemed from their kind of best fruits for God and man. And in their mouth no lie is found, for they are blameless. And I saw another angel flying directly overhead, with an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who dwell on earth, to every nation and tribe and language and people. And he said with a loud voice, Fear God and give him glory, because the hour of his judgment has come. And worship him who made heaven and earth, mercy and the springs of water. Another angel, a second followed, said, Born and born is Babylon the Great. She who made all nations drink the wine of the passion of her sexual immorality. And another angel, a third followed, and said with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and its image and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand, he also will drink the wine of God's wrath, poured full strength into the cup of his anger. And he will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of the torment goes up forever in us. And they have no rest, no day, day or night. These worshippers of the beast and its brain and its image, and whoever receives the mark of its name, is a call from the endurance of the saints. And with those who heed the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven say, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Blessed indeed, says the Spirit, and that they may rest from their ways, for their deeds follow. Then I looked and beheld a white cloud, and the seated on the cloud like the Son of Man, with a golden crown on his head, and a sharp sickle in his hand. And another angel came out of the temple, and called with a loud voice to him, who sat on the cloud. And put in your sickle and reap, for the hour to reap has come, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. So he who sat he who sat on the cloud swung his sickle across the earth. And then the earth was reaped. And then, then another angel came out of the temple of heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle, and an and another angel came out of the came out from the altar. And the angel who had authority and, the fire. and he called with a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, Put in your sickle and gather the clusters from the vine of the earth, for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle across the earth, and gathered the grape harvest of the earth, and threw it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden outside the sea, and blood flowed from the winepress, as high as a horse's bridle, for a 1,600 stadia. And there saw another sign in heaven, great and amazing, seven angels with seven plagues, which are the last, but with them the wrath of God is finished. And I saw one appear to be a sea of glass mingled with fire, and also those who had conquered the beast and its image, and, its, and the number of its name, standing beside the sea of glass with its with harps of God in their hands. And they sing the voice of the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and amazing are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty, just and true are your ways, O King of the nations, who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you alone are holy, all nations will come and worship you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. After this I looked, and the sanctuary of the rent, tent of witness in heaven was opened, and out of the sanctuary came the seven angels with seven with seven plagues, clothed in pure bright linen, and with golden sashes around their chest. And when the four living creatures gave to the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God, who live forever and ever. And the sanctuary was filled with smoke. And the glory of God and from his power. And no one could enter the sanctuary until the song of praise of the seven angels were finished. And then they had a loud voice from the temples telling the seven angels, Go and pour out on the earth the seven bowls of the wrath of God. So the first thing an angel went and poured out his bowl on the earth. And a half of the painful sores came on the people who bore the mark of the beast and watched it did 
The second angel poured his bowl into the sea, and it became like the blood of corks, and every living thing died that was in the sea. The third angel poured out his bowl into the, into the rivers and the springs of water, and they became blood. And I heard the angel in charge of in charge of the water say, Just are you, a holy one, who isn't who was, for you brought these judgments, and they have shed the blood of plenty of saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink. This is what they deserve. And I heard the artist say, Yes, Lord God the Almighty, sure and just are your judgments. Mm-hmm. Before the angel poured out his bomb, so he was allowed to scorch people with fire, and they were scorched by a fierce heat. And they cast the name of God who had power over these plagues. They did not repent and did not work. Then the angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom was plunged into darkness. People gnawed their tongues in anguish and cursed the God of heaven for their pain and souls. They did not repent of their deeds. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. And I saw coming out of the mouth of the dragon and out of its mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet, three unclean spirits like dogs, but they are demonic spirits performing sons who go abroad to the king of the harbour to assemble them on for bow on the great day of God of the Almighty. And they assembled them at the place that in here is called Armageddon. The seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice came out of the temple from the throne, saying, It is time. And there were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, and a great earthquake, such as there had never been since man was on the earth. So great was that earthquake, the great city was split into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and God remembered Babylon the great, and to make a drain the cup of the wine of the fury of his wrath, and every island fled away, and no mountains were to be found. <clears throat> and great house rooms, about one hundred pounds each, fell from heaven <clears throat> on <clears throat> people, and they cursed God for the plague of the hail, because the plague was so severe. <clears throat> and one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and said to me, Come, <clears throat> come, I'll show you the judgment of the great prostitute, who will see you on the with him the kings of the earth have continued sexual immorality, and with the one of those sexual immorality, the dwellers on earth have become drunk. And he carried me away in spirit into a wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast out of all blasphemous names, and had seven heads and ten horns. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold and jewels and pearls, holding in her hand a golden cup full of abomination and the impurities of her sexual immorality. And on her forehead was written a name of mystery. Babylon the Great, no, great Mother of Prostitutes and Earth's Abominations. And I saw the woman, drunk with the blood of the saints, and the blood of the masters of Jesus. And I saw her I marvel greatly, that the angel said to me, Why do you marvel? And I will tell you the mystery of the woman, and the beast with the seven heads and ten horns that carries her. The beast that saw you was, and is not, is a, and is about to rise from the bottomless pit and go to destruction. And the dwellers on earth, whose names I have not been written in the book of life and from the foundation of the world, and will marvel to see thee, because it was and is not and is to come. This world from mine is wisdom. With the seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman is seen. And there are also seven kings, five from the crew and have fallen. One is the other has not yet come. And, and when he does come, he must remain and live a little while. And as for the beast that was and is not, it is an eighth by my spirit, but, but it belongs to the seven, and it goes to destruction. And the ten rooms that you saw are ten kings who have not yet received royal power, but are to receive authority as kings for one hour, together with the beast. And they are all made for the Lord, and the Lamb will conquer them, for he is the Lord of Lords, and the kings of kings. And those with him are called and chosen and faithful. And the angel said to me, The waters that you saw, where the prostitutes see, are peoples and multitudes and nations and languages. And the ten of ones you saw, that you saw, they and the beast, and hate the prostitute. And they will make her desolate and naked, and devour her flesh and burn her up with fire. And for God has put it into their hearts to carry, and to carry out his purpose of being the one body, and handing their royal power to the beast. 
And then two of the words of God are fulfilled. And then the woman who that you saw the great city that has dominion over the kings of the earth. After this I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was made bright with his glory. And he called out with a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a dwelling place for demons, and a home for every unclean spirit, and a home for every unclean bird, and a home from every unclean and detestable beast. For all the nations have drunk the wine of the passion of her sexual immorality. And the kings of the earth have committed immorality with her. And the merchants of the earth have grown rich from the power of her luxurious living. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my king, lest you take part in her sins, lest you share in, your, in her place. For her sins are heavy, heaped high as heaven. And God has remembered her iniquities. Pay her back as she herself has paid back others. And repay her double for her deeds. Makes a double portion for her in the cup she makes. And she glorified herself and lived in luxury. So she, so give her a light measure of torment and learning. Since in her heart she says, I see his queen, I am no widow, and learning I shall never see. For this reason her plagues will come in the same day, death and learning will infam, and she will be burned out with fire. For mighty is the Lord God who has judged her, and the kings of the earth who committed sexual immorality and live in natural women will weep and wail over her when they see the smoke of her burning. They will stand far off in fear of her torment. And say, Alas, alas, you great city, you mighty city, Babylon, for in a single hour your judgment has come, and the virgins of the earth eat and learn for her sins. No one buys the cargo anymore. Cargo of gold, silver, um, jewels, pearls, fine linen, pebble cloth, silk, scarlet cloth, all kinds of scented wood, all kinds of articles of ivory, all kinds of articles of costly wood, and bronze, iron, and marble. Cinnamon, spice, incense, myrrh, frankincense, wine, oil, fine flour, meat, wheat, cow, and sheep, horses and chariots, and slaves, that is, human souls. The fruit for which your soul, soul long has gone from you, and all your delicacies and your splendors are lost to you, never to be found again. And the merchants of these wares, who gain wealth from her, will stand far off in fear of her torment, weeping and many blood. Alas, alas, for the great city was closed. That was clothed with fine linen, in purple and scarlet, adorned with gold, with jewels and with pearls. For in a single hour, all this wealth has been laid waste, and all shipmasters and seafaring men, sailors, and all whose trade is on the sea, stood far off and cried out as they saw the smoke of their money. What city was like their great city? And they threw dust on their heads as they wept and moaned, crying out, Alas, alas, for the great city, where all her ships at sea grew rich by her wealth. For in a single hour, she has been laid waste. Rejoice over her, O her, the new saints and apostles and prophets, who God has given judgment, and judgment for you against her. Then the mighty angel and, and took up a stone like a great millstone and threw it into the sea, saying, So will Babylon, the great sea, be thrown down with violence, and we will be found in the And the sound of harpists and musicians, of flute players and trumpeters, will be heard in you no more, and a craftsman of, of any craft will be found in you no more. And the sound of the bell will be heard in you no more, and the light of the lamp will shine in you no more, and the voice of the bridegroom and the bride will be heard in you no more. For your merchants were the great ones of the earth, and all nations were deceived by your sorcery, and in her was found the blood of prophets and saints, and of all who have been slain on earth. Proverbs 2. Son, if you receive my words and treasure all my commandments with you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding, yes, if you go after insight and raise your voice for understanding, if you seek thy silver and search for it as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth from the Lord and understand. His doors of sound wisdom for the right way. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity, and guarding the path of justice and watching over the way of the saints. Then you will understand righteousness and justice and equity, every good path. For wisdom will come into your heart, and no will be pleasant to your soul. Mm -hmm. Discretion will watch over you, understanding will guide you, delivering you from the way of this, from men of perverted speech, who mm -hmm. forsake the paths of the righteous. Mm -hmm. righteous. And Cause of the righteous, uprightness, and walk, to walk in ways of darkness, 
who rejoiced in Turkey for his delight in the perverseness of evil, and mm-hmm. who made his part of the good, and mm-hmm. who had devious in their ways. Mm-hmm. Though you will be delivered from their forbidden room, from the adulteress with a smooth word, who forsakes the companion of the youth, and forgets the covenant of the good of God, who her house sinks down to death, and her past to the devil. When they go to her come back, nor do they regain the box of life. So either you will walk in the way of the good and keep to the box of the larger, for the upright will inhabit the land, and those who do with integrity will remain there, as the wicked will be cut off from the land, and the treasures will be ripped out of it. Psalm 69. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in deep mire, but there is no foothold. I have come into deep waters, and the floods sweep over me. I am weary with my crying out. My throat is parched, my eyes grow dim, and my waiting for my God. More in number than the hairs on my head are those who hate me without cause. Mighty are those who would destroy me, those who attack me with lies. What did I not steal? Must I now restore? O God, you know my fault. The ones I have done are not hidden from me. Let not those who hope in you be put to shame through. Throw me, O Lord God of hosts. Let not those who see me be brought to dishonor through me, O God of Israel. For it is for your sake that I am done for your reproach. The dishonor has covered over my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my mother's sons. For zeal, for zeal your house, and for your house heal has consumed me. And the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me. And when I wept and humbled my soul, my soul with fasting, it became my reproach. When I made sackcloth by my clothing, I became byword to them. And I am the talk of those who sit in the gate, and the drunkards who make songs about me. And as for me, my prayers to you, O Lord, has an acceptable time of God. In the abundance of your steadfast love, and to me in your saving faithfulness, deliver me from sinking in the mire. Let me be delivered from my enemies and from the deep water. Let not the flood sweep over me, nor the deep swallow me up, nor the pit close its mouth over me. Enter me, O Lord, for your step is love is good. According to your abundant mercy, turn to me. Hide not your face from your servant, before I am in distress. Make haste to death me. Draw near to myself, redeem me. Ransom me because of my enemies. You know my reproach and my shame and my dishonor. My foes are all known to you. My precious have broken in my heart, so that I am in despair. I look for pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me poison for food, and for my thirst they gave me sour wine to drink. Let their own table before them become a snare, and when they are at peace, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, so that they cannot see, and, and make their women tremble continually. Throw out the indignation upon them, and let your burning anger overtake them. And make their camp be a desolation, for them. let no one dwell in their tents. For they persecute him and the enemy of Shrapna, and they recount the pain of those who are with them. Add to them punishment and punishment. May they have no acquittal for me. Let them be blown out of the book of the living. Let them not be involved among the righteous. For I am afflicted and in pain. Let your salvation of God set me on high. I will praise the name of God with the Son. I will magnify the name of thanks for God. This will please the Lord more than I will. Or all with wounds and hoofs. When the humble see it, they will be blind. You, you who seek God, let your hearts revive. For the Lord hears me and does not despise his own people who are present. The heaven and earth the sea and everything that we see, the God, the God who saves us and builds the sea of Egypt, and people shall dwell there and possess it. The offspring of the seventh shall inherit it, and those who love His name shall dwell in it. We understand. We shall now do the Lord's prayer. Please pray, hands, our Father in heaven, hallowed be Your name. Your kingdom come. You will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. We give us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of God. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.